can you explain the best strategy for choosing the cases on Dondi? Dondi. It comes down to two cases. Is it similar to the Monty Hall problem? Well, that's a great question, Bob Denver. The Bob Denver, right? We, mm -hmm. we got the one confirmed, confirmed. Yeah, so so deal or no deal, Dondi uh, Island. Deal or no deal Island is, is otherwise known as Dondi for those who, mm -hmm. who, are, who, are, who are not regular uh, listeners. Uh, it's, it's a new sh it's second season of the show is second going on season. right now. Yeah. Are you a regular viewer of Dondi? I'm a recent viewer of Dondi. I'm a recent viewer. I'm watching this season. I caught bits of the last season. I'm sort of catching up mm -hmm. on the format. But, uh, but lots, of, lots of math is talked about. And very little of the math doesn't make me angry. So uh, it, it's a it's it, it's it's quite a it, it's quite a roller coaster to the point yeah. where like I feel like I, I understand what's going on, and all of a sudden I'm not sure. Maybe I'm still getting used to the format, but I, I'm enjoying it. I, I enjoy the ride. You got some good cast. I hear there's an actual deity on this season. Am I do I understand that right? An actual god of some kind. The golden god. Yeah. The golden god. The golden god of, of Australian Survivor. You no, know, it's a, it's it, but it's an interesting show. And it brings up a lot of mathematical questions. And there's always uh, arguments over what the statistical best decision is to make in different situations. But uh, the part of this question that's uh, of interest is we talk about choosing the cases. Uh, I'm assuming this is during like what we call like the deal, what you were dealing with the banker, mm -hmm. right? The, so, so for those who are not familiar with deal or no deal or deal or no deal island, it's, new, it's, 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 it's newer instantiation on an island. Uh, the key game is that you are given a case and, uh, and this case is closed and it could have any, some number of dollar amount in it. And there are also like a bunch of other cases. Depends upon the format how many other cases there are, and they will range in dollar amount inside the case from like a penny to a million dollars or some version of that, right? And so there is a uh, so so there so as a result, you have a case in your hands, and you then select cases to be removed from the other cases that you open up, and they are now out of the running, and you open up and it reveals what's in them, right? And so you hope you're hoping and praying the million dollars is not in the case that you are that that, that you are revealing. And then as you the case, cases dwindle, the banker makes a deal with you. It says, okay, I'll, I'll, you give up the case you're holding and I will give you this much money. And it kind of, that, that amount, of, I, I, I'm going to go a, little, go a little all over the place, Rob. I was trying okay. to explain this concept to my, one of my fellow professors who's, who's an information theorist. I was talking about deal, or, I was talking about Dandi with him mm -hmm. today. And I was trying to explain to him the rules. So this is how he gave me flashbacks. And he's like, and he's asking, this is the deal like a weighted average of the cases? I'm like, it's kind of, kind of, sort of, kind of not. But anyway, mm -hmm. the, so that's the, that's the premise. So that's the premise of how you play deal or no deal. It sounds very similar to a classic game, which we call the Monty Hall problem, uh, formerly known as Let's Make a Deal. A bit more formally known as that, which was a similar sounding show where there are three doors and it has this classic mathematical conundrum associated with it called the Monty Hall problem because the host is named Monty Hall. We've talked about this many times in the podcast, Rob, but just a little bit of background. And so it's similar in that one of these doors is a winner and two are losers. You choose the door. Mm -hmm. and um, you choose a door. And then Monty Hall goes to one of the other doors and says, I'm going to reveal this door. And it's not a winner, right? Leaving you with only two doors left. And the classic conundrum is, do you stick with the door you've got or do you switch? And and the, and this is like a well-known famous math problem that people shown that in, even though intuitively it shouldn't matter, intuitively you might say it's 50-50, so it doesn't matter whether you stay or switch, it's actually better to switch. You, in fact, yeah. double your odds by switching. That's the classic Monty Hall conundrum. So you might ask yourself, is deal or no deal the same thing? If you are sitting on this case that has some money in it, and then you are eliminating all these other cases that could have the big money in it, you're eliminating, 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 does it make sense to switch? Does it also improve your odds to do so? It looks like that, mm -hmm. but it's not. It is fundamentally different. Dondi is fundamentally different than Monty Hall or let's make a deal or, or, or Lamad. Dandy <laughs> is not equal to Lamad. Yeah. Okay. So you're talking about the, so somebody that, okay, I'm on deal or no deal. I've gotten to the end. I have suitcase number 12. Okay. And so that there are, there is uh, one suitcase that's left. I have my suitcase. Uh, the, the suitcase that's up on the board. Uh, 
I don't know what that is. And there's one that I have selected. And the banker, I, I see that there is, I, I will know that there are two numbers mm -hmm. of like what the two potential options could be. One will probably be high, one will be low, and the banker's offer will be something in the middle. And yes. so if the suitcase I keep is higher than the banker's offer, I stay. And if it's lower, I made a bad deal. So at this point, it's just straight up 50-50. There's no difference to switch. Correct. That's how it works out. And I understand. And I in preparing for this podcast, Nicole, don't I don't I just say I prepared for this. I I went, I I fully I that's went adorable. through the process. I think my wife is listening. Uh, that's fine. That's, hey, hey, I'll, I'll text her later. Anyway, mm -hmm. wow. uh, I don't have her, I don't have her number. Sorry. Okay. Uh, the uh, the when it comes to this, uh, so so the Monty Hall problem, I talked about it many times on Twitter here in research meetings. I literally this last week I had a, someone give a presentation on the Monty Hall problem in an engineering research meeting. So I see here think about it all the time, and I was thinking about it again today to prepare for this, and again uh, and I got in my own head again. It's like. Is it really the case? What if I consider this? What if I consider that? And I had to go through this whole process again of convincing myself, yes. And in fact, and Monty Hall makes sense to switch. And in deal or no deal, it does not that does not matter. But uh, for those for just like a, like a preview as to how you can try to demonstrate this for yourself, okay, uh, as to why it's the difference. I have a, a handy chart which will be nigh indecipherable uh, that I'll uh, more I'll talk through a little bit. Thank you so much, Rob. So the so for those who can't see this because you listen to a podcast version, what I have sort of, what you can imagine is sort of like a tree where you have like branches of reality. And so I'm going to do the situation where you have three cases. Okay. Let's say you have three cases and you're playing deal or no deal. And you've chosen the first case. We'll call it case A. You want to be able to figure out which of these cases is a winner. Okay. And, and so there's a one third chance that the winner is in case A, B, or C. All right. So, and what you want need to do is then work through all of the different possibilities of, do you then open up case B, case C, or case B or case C for all three of those. So basically those three branches then become six branches split off, split mm -hmm. off again. And then once you've opened those up, I'm trying to avoid my ring light here, sorry. And once you open those up, there's again, two options you could do. You could trade your case or you could keep your case. So then you go from six options, they branch off again, into 12 and you go through all of those different possibilities and you work out that there are equal number of times you win when you trade versus when you keep it. Okay. That's the way you can work it out. And with the Monty Hall problem, what's critical is that the, is, is that Monty Hall there always make sure that he never opens up the winning case or the winning door, whichever it is. So as a result, it takes some of these branches and it, Oh, that's yeah, sorry. My white whiteboard marker not working. Yeah, mm -hmm. take some of these branches and he crosses them off. They no longer exist. So some of the probability of those gets shifted to other branches, and that asymmetry is what makes the Monty Hall problem different than do, do or no deal. It actually forces more probability into the win column if you decide to trade as you decide to keep your case. So that's how you can work it out for yourself because I definitely haven't gotten on to days long Twitter arguments with people about it and definitely don't still think about it like it's my Roman empire. Okay. All right. I think this would be great on Dondi. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, you know, producers, uh, you can find me on Insta at, uh, at Chubicki, mm -hmm. um, et cetera. You, you know where to find me. We should put this in the Dondi podcast feed. Get it in front I, of the right people. That would be great. I'm actually thinking of doing like a, a real – I want to make a bit of a pivot to more public-facing stuff with mm -hmm. my science education. Basically have Dondi not equal to Monty Hall. Mm -hmm. You know, it would be my thumbnail on the YouTubes. It would be like, uh, you know, with me making some kind of hilarious face like 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 the YouTubers do. That's what I'll do. That's So get this out there. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank with you. With a suitcase, yeah.